Okay, we have something different here today. We've got the integral from zero to 100 pi of cosine to the 99th x dx. Okay, so for this one, what I had in mind is I'm actually gonna do five methods or six methods, but I'm doing all really fast methods. So we're gonna kind of blow through it. I'm gonna kind of just, I'm gonna give you the formulas. I just wanna kind of show that there's a lot of fast ways to do this. And one thing I wanna say about that is it's only really gonna be fast if you remember the formulas or you have them handy. Of course, if you're deriving formulas and proving things and doing it out the way I do oftentimes in videos, that's gonna be way longer. So we're just kind of going through assuming we have all the formulas. Okay, so for the first method for this, it's just the graph. And the graph is probably gonna be the fastest way or maybe the fastest way once, assuming you have it up and you can look at the graph, you can see the symmetry that it's actually gonna be between zero and pi. You can see it's zero because the negative area is offsetting with the positive area or looking at it from zero to two pi. And then the graph is just going to repeat over and over again. We've got our upper bound of 100 pi, but it's not going to matter if all these different areas from 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, if they're all 0, this whole integral is just going to be 0. Now, one thing about this, oftentimes I don't really count the graph as a method because, you know, it's got a lot of limitations. You have to have a computer or something. If you're on a test, it might not work. So I think there are some problems to the graph, but it's going to be probably your fastest way. Okay, so now before I move on to method number two, I want to get all these identities for cosine on the board. This part right here is going to be really important for speed because if you're kind of looking these up or deriving them each time, it's going to slow things way down. So I'm just going to provide these up front. Okay, now method number two, what I've done is I just rewrote our integral, but I split up 100 pi and wrote it as 50 times 2 pi because then I can use this formula where like our n value in front is going to be 50, our a value is going to be 2 pi, and the check we need to do is just f of x plus our a value, which is 2 pi. So what we really need is this one. We need cosine x plus 2 pi for our check, and we want this to be equal to f of x. When we go to our formula, this thing here is the same thing as cosine x. In our problem, the whole thing is raised to the 99th power. Just raise it to the 99th power on both sides. But what you notice, if this is f of x, then this right here is the same thing. This is our f of x. So the principle is true and we can take the 50 out front of the integral. And then next what we can do is use Queen's principle on it where we're gonna want f of 2a minus x equal to f of x. So that's gonna be f of 2 pi minus x. So we need this top one right here, cosine 2 pi minus x, but that's gonna be cosine x. When you do the same thing and raise this to the 99th power, you're getting back this f of x value again. So we can now take a two out front of the integral. Now we have 100 in front. And then here we can just use Queen's principle again, same kind of thing, f of pi minus x. You kind of notice this is a little over done in doing this twice, but let's just do it. So when we do this, we're gonna have cosine pi minus x. And then that's gonna be this formula right here, which is minus cosine x. When you raise this to the 99th power, because 99 is odd, you're gonna have minus cosine 99x, and that's gonna be minus f of x. And this formula for Queen's principle tells us if this is equal to minus f of x, the whole integral is zero. Same answer we got in the first method. Okay, next moving on to method three. The first step is exactly the same as method two. I already brought the 50 out front, so I don't need to do that same method again. But then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this principle where we need to check f of x plus a. Where now in this case, a is going to be just half of the upper bound, not the full upper bound, so it's going to be pi. So what we want to check is f of x plus pi. So in this case, we're checking cosine x plus pi. And that's going to be this formula right here. We get minus cosine x. But really in our function, everything's to the 99th power. So raise this to the 99th, raise this to the 99th. The minus stays again because it's an odd power. And so this again is going to be minus f of x. And so using this formula here, we can just say our integral is zero. And so I think this one actually does save one step over method two. I mean, it might be a two second step, but it still saves a step. So, so I think method three wins over method two, even though they're still really similar. Now for method four, we don't need any of the formulas we used in the previous ones over here. We're gonna use our power reduction formula that we have right here. We write our integral as I sub n, where n is gonna be, in our case, n is gonna be 99. And we notice that n is odd, of course. So we use this formula right here in terms of double factorials and I sub one, where N is one. But the thing about it is I'm not really gonna even worry about this part right here. If we did have to worry about that, then maybe it's a longer method, but really we can just go to our I sub one, which is just when the exponent is one. So we're just integrating cosine. 
We do this integrating cosine, we get sine x from zero to 100 pi, but sine at 100 pi is zero, sine at zero is zero, so the whole integral is just zero. This looks like a guy's face. I think this way is pretty nice. You don't have to deal with the exponent all. You just go right to integrating cosine. So two or three steps real quick. Okay, so there you have it. I'll check the time on the video. I'm gonna be disappointed if it's like a two hour video and then none of these methods are fast, but hopefully with the formulas, it went pretty quick and shed some light on a few different things. So let me know in the comments which one you like the best. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.